Hello, I'm Alfredo Contreras. I'm Senior Product Manager for Open Utilities Digital Twin Services for Bentley Systems. And I'm going to talk to you about the Digital Twin. So, uh, Digital Twin can be used for planning, design, analysis, construction, and operational workflows. Uh, so, let's look, take a look at the Digital Twin a bit deeper. And uh, so, I'm going to explore with you uh, essentially these four topics. Uh, first of all, what is a digital twin? Uh, so I'll explain it to you visually. Uh, here is a digital twin of uh, the Huntsville utility network. Uh, so it includes both GIS data, network model data, 3D design data, in that case it was a substation, and uh, all that data is mashed together. Uh, so then you have a network models with GIS data and your three, 3D data all together to give you a more holistic view of what your assets are out in the field. Uh, a digital twin actually can even include 3D scans of uh, your brownfield substations and any of your other assets as well. As well. Uh, now that's important because that lets you virtually inspect and operate uh, your assets as well. Uh, so you might wonder how do you manage and create a digital twin? Uh, well, this video explains it fairly easily, again using Huntsville as our example. Uh, the, this data was imported from GIS and linked with analysis data. And you do, what you have to do first is uh, when you, when you uh, get that data together, you have to create rules that will uh, qualify and quantify your data. And uh, you have to be able to uh, assign a severity level to those rules. Uh, now, once you have a rule, you need to be able to group sets of rules, rules into sets that are typically uh, grouped into use cases. And when you run those rules, uh, you're going to get a, uh, a large quantity, typically, of the types of errors that you have in your data. Uh, now, this, in this example, the red uh, uh, indicates that it's a severe error. Green, not so bad. Yellow is kind of iffy. Uh, and a, any system that has a digital twin should be able to present the data as it exists today and even um, suggest a, correct, a correction for that data. Uh, now, in this case, the, the, that cluster, uh, you can explode a cluster by, uh, by clicking on it, and what that does is it zooms into it, filters the data, and allows you to inspect it uh, easily and, of course, uh, uh, fix the data all in the same environment. Um, so that's essentially uh, how you would manage your digital twin. You import it, validate it, and uh, you uh, then make it available to uh, your users once you've cleansed it and enriched it well enough. Uh, now, what, when you've, uh, once you've created the digital twin, what can you do with it? Uh, here's three examples. First one is Digital Twin Insights. Uh, this is an example actually of data quality. Uh, so this dashboard shows the Digital Twin itself. Uh, the, this is a heat map of the data quality where you see the red. That means the, uh, the area has uh, a lot of severe errors. And so that helps a manager or, uh, to understand how to prioritize cleansing and enriching their data. It allows an executive to understand where they're at in their digital journey. And these same dashboards can also be used even by the, the person actually in the trenches working on cleansing the data uh, because it allows them to understand uh, uh, you know, where the issues are and how they relate to each other. Uh, so these same dashboards, for example, 
can include additional filters uh, where you can drill down into the uh, down to the object level and even to the device level uh, and that's what this dashboard is so you can actually inspect uh, every every single asset in your network and even uh, the the way this works uh, we actually assign a score with a being great b it's still pretty good. C is uh, okay, still usable. And finally, C becomes suspect, and D is uh, you need to uh, actually go look at it out in the field. Uh, now, if uh, uh, what else can you do with that? Uh, there's uh, operational workflows. In this case, uh, if you have a digital twin that is in, in good shape, then you can actually uh, um, automate or, or streamline processes. This is an example of streamlining uh, approvals for interconnections uh, from a customer. And all you really need to do with the Digital Twin is uh, locate where you would like to uh, interconnect. Uh, let's say it's a solar PV installation. Uh, once you do that, uh, all the all the information about the uh, the system is uh, is uh, in the is available through uh, this application. All you do is click on the the run uh, button, and within minutes it'll actually give you an answer whether the interconnection it will be allowed. And what it's going to do is give you either an approved, conditionally approved, or if it needs to be rejected. Uh, because, uh, for example, there's just no hosting capacity available. Uh, finally, um, a, another workflow that can be supported, in this case, it's using scanned information. Uh, you can take a brownfield substation. You can uh, select uh, the uh, uh, parts of, of the scan and actually classify it. In this case, it's a capacitor bank and you can then link that object into your asset management system. And what that does then, it, it makes all that asset management data available through the digital twin. So now you have a holistic view with network data, asset data, GIS data, uh, all in one environment. And uh, uh, that also means that you can uh, do essentially uh, visual inspections uh, through digitally. In this case, you can look at all the, uh, uh, the engineering data, design data, and so forth. Uh, this system actually also allows you to uh, automatically classify parts of a, of a digital scan through uh, machine learning. Uh, so in this case, it recognizes the boxes represent uh, where the machine learning algorithms have recognized these as pumps automatically. And uh, so it essentially streamlines how you can capture uh, brownfield uh, data into uh, your digital twin and uh, with high, very high accuracy. And again, you can also validate that uh, through the, uh, the data quality tools that are in this same digital twin. If you're interested in learning more about Open Utilities Digital Twin Services, please visit www.bentley.com.